Hi, I'm Adrian Montague. I'm an admissions officer and recruiter here at Jackson State Community College in Jackson, Tennessee. Today, we are gonna go through how to submit an online application for Jackson State. It's a really easy process. It will maybe take you five minutes to do. So we're gonna cut over to the screen. So applying to Jackson State, it's super easy. The first thing you do is go to the Jackson State website, which is jscc.edu. And at the top of the screen, there is a green apply button. We give that a click. And then we click on apply now. Now there's two ways you can apply to Jackson State. One is submitting an online application. And the other way is submitting a paper application where you can either mail it, fax it, or deliver it in person. For today, we are going to focus on the online application. So we we'll click on that, on uh, apply for admission online. Now, in order to apply online, you do have to create a login. And if you've never applied to Jackson State before, you'd have to go to first time user account creation. So with that, first we click that we are not a robot, and the login can be pretty much anything you want it to be. This login is solely to get into the admissions login page. And then for the PIN, it just needs to be six numbers. And then we can verify the PIN and log in. Now, there are different application types depending on what type of student you're going to be, be it high school dual enrollment, if you're going to be a first-time freshman, if you're a transient student, or transfer, or readmit. And if you go to the drop-down menu to click on which application you'll be filling out, for this example, we're going to use New Student. So you click on New Student and continue. Now, throughout the application, Everything that has a red asterisk is required. Uh, anything that doesn't have the asterisk, uh, it is optional. So we're going to click on admission term for this will be fall 2021. And for a name, and go to fill out application. Now this is the application checklist. I always find that it's best to just go in order and you don't necessarily have to do it all in one go. If you need to stop, you can save it at any time and finish later. We're, we're gonna go in one go this time because it really only takes maybe five minutes to do start to finish. So we'll start with the name portion of the checklist and that's already been filled out. So then we'll continue. And then for address, type that in. And type in your phone number. And continue. All right. So, the social social security number portion is not asterisk, but if you are planning to pl apply for financial aid, you will need to supply that social security number. But for today's example, we're going to leave that out. We'll go to birthday, and there's a drop down menu for that. And with email, again, doesn't have a red asterisk, but it's always best to put that in just so uh, the school has an easy way to contact you. Uh, for today's example, we are going to leave it out. And uh, put in citizenship. And we're going to continue. Okay, so next is your planned course of study. And with that, we've got a drop-down menu here that has every, every major that we offer at Jackson State. So the, with the transfer paths, that's if you do plan to transfer to a four-year college, you can utilize any of the major options there. And then uh, we also have the general studies track 
and then we've got our uh, Associate of Applied Science degrees up top. Uh, so for today's example, we're going to say that we are going for an Associate of Science in General Studies. And continue. All right, next is your high school information. Now, I always find it best to actually utilize the uh, Look Up High School Code feature because what that's going to do is it's going to plug in the name and address from the screen. So we click on Look Up High School Code and we'll do a drop down here from Tennessee and select a country. Oh, that's or select a country. And then uh, list cities. And uh, let's see, go with Dyersburg. And then click on list high schools in selected city. And say we went to Dyersburg High School. And we'll copy that in and it's gonna copy all of the address information in there. And graduation date, May 8th. And uh, if that's the only high school you went to, then you can continue from there. If not, then you can actually enter another school. So we'll go to continue. So with previous colleges, if you've attended any college that was not Jackson State, you would need to enter that college in here. If you didn't, then you can just go to continue. Um, so we're going to say that we did attend a different college and we'll look up that college where did we go Let's say Tennessee and Cookville we'll drop down to the different colleges which is Tennessee Tech and copy that information in there and continue so this is only if you attended a previous college. If you didn't, you can just, when you get to this screen, you can just go to continue. So additional information. Again, we fill out everything that has a red asterisk. So have you taken college credit courses at Jackson State previously? No. Have you lived in Tennessee continuously since birth? Yes. And let's see. Now this one, People miss it all the time, but uh, it's the selective service question. So if you are a male between 18 and 26, uh, you'll need to mark the selective service. And is English your native language? Yes. And have you ever served in the US military? No. And we go to continue. So that's completed all of the checks in the checklist. And now the application is complete. So we'll click application is complete. And uh, there's an admissions agreement that you'll need to read over. If you agree to the terms, click on I agree to the terms. And you have now applied to Jackson State. Um, I mean, thank you for the application. And the, pretty soon you will be receiving your emails and letters and you will have information about your acceptance and we've got contact information at the end of the page. So if you do have any questions, you do have a point of contact. So that concludes the online admission process for Jackson State. We hope it was easy for you. And if you have any questions in the future, please give us a call at 731-425-2601. Thanks a lot and welcome to Green Jay Nation.